welcome again. My name is Akram Dirwish. Previously, we studied zero if condition, first, second, third. Today, we are studying the mixed if condition. Before we start, we need to review the second and the third. Let's do it. As we studied before, if I had money, I would buy a house. This is a hypothetical and imaginary situation that is not real. I'm just imagining now, okay? So we use after if simple past and in the second clause we need would clause. We call it would clause, which is would plus base form. The verb must be base form. Okay. The third one was this. If she had informed me, I would have helped her. So here, past perfect. This thing didn't, uh, didn't happen in the past, okay? And what this was the result for that, right? Or I'm just talking now about what happened in the past. This is real, but in the past, not now. And now I'm talking about it. It's hypothetical as well, and I am imagining. And the difference between the second and the third, this one is not real. This one is real in the past, not now. Okay? Very good. Now let's go to the third. The, uh, sorry, the mixed. The mixed is both of them. You tell me how. I'll tell you this. Okay. First, how we make the sentence. We take one part from here and one part from here. Let's take an example. If she had informed me, this sentence, we took it from here, from the third F condition. So we took what? Past perfect. All right. So this is the past perfect. We took it from third F condition. Now let's go to the second. She wouldn't be in a problem. So would be. This is what here, would clause, all right? So we took would clause. What is would clause? Would plus base, uh, verb base form. Very good. Uh, so this one. This is the mixed if condition. We took one from number three and this one from number two. This is called mixed if condition. When I use it, I'll tell you now. When I have, it is all in the past, okay? Something happened in the past, all right? And the result is still now. You have the consequence here, all right? So you use the mixed if condition. See, if she had informed me, this is the past, okay? She wouldn't be in a problem. Now, she is in a problem, all right? That's it. But also, you can use after if something else. Look, if, if he were a good person, okay, if he were a good person, he wouldn't have had enemies. This is the past, this is now, all right? Means the person is not good, okay. And this one is, okay, uh, this one is simple, past, and obviously, this is what would have plus past participle. Okay, this one, past participle. Very good. See, this sentence, we took it from number, from the third F condition. This sentence, simple past, we took it from the second F condition. That's all about it. Okay, just a note, guys. Here, this is the present. This is the past. All right here this is the this is the past this is the present okay i hope you enjoyed it guys please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment tell your friends about my channel guys any question you want you can write it down in the comment i'll be happy to answer it thank you guys see you